Hello traders, in this video we are going to show how to backtest MetaTrader Forex indicators. We will show step-by-step -step guide to the new user to understand it quickly. If you are developing a Forex trading strategy or you want to test a new Forex indicator, then MetaTrader backtesting options give a platform to check how the indicator performs on historical past charts. First from the MetaTrader trading platform, press Ctrl plus R to open Strategy Tester or you can open Strategy Tester from the view menu at the top menu bar. Once the strategy tester is open, now this is your world. At the left side corner, select indicator from the drop down menu, as we will be backtesting only the indicator, not any EA. Then choose the indicator from the indicator list. Here we have chosen the WD GAN pivot point indicator. After this, we will choose a simple. The currency pairer symbol on which we will apply the indicator. Then you need to choose the model. Well, there are three types of models is available, every tick, control points, open prices. Which model you will choose depends on the indicator function. If tick data matters with your indicator for signal accuracy, then you need to choose the first option. If your indicator works perfectly fine on each bar data, then you can choose the last option. For the control point model, if your indicators work in a higher time frame, then you can use this model, it will be a little faster than every tick method because in this method, it calculates based on the nearest lower time frame data. In this example, we will use the open price model, because it will be faster. As it's not an expert advisor or robots, therefore financial operation here is not the primary. The main reason for backtesting an indicator is to know how it gets displayed on a chart and provides signals. Therefore indicator backtesting will be a ways in a visual method. Next, we will choose the time frame from the drop-down list. Then the period option, choose a spread. By default, it is selected current, means current spread on the selected symbol. But you can choose anything according to your choice. Here we have chosen 2. And a 5-digit broker 2 means 0.2 spread. Note if you are doing backtest on weekend, make sure you choose spread manually. Later moving on to the date section. Here if you untick the use date option, then the MetaTrader will use all available data for backtesting but you can choose a custom start and end dates also. After that, changing indicator properties. If you do not touch this button, then the indicator will backtest with default settings. But if you want to use any custom indicator settings, then from this window you can change input parameters. You can either load any preset or you can save any indicator settings for faster usage. Otherwise, reset it to load the default. Next is symbol properties, it shows all contract specifications of the symbol, trading hours, chart quotation times, etc. So, that's the basic thing you need to know. Now press the start button to start the backtest. See. The backtesting has started, you can play and pause the backtest from this small button. Also, you can do some changes on the chart, like removing the grid, changing the chart color scheme, or enable to show object description on the chart. Note do all these changes by pausing the backtest. This long slider is the speed controller. You can speed up or speed down the backtesting process with this slider. See first we have slow it down. Then we have speed it up. You can adjust this according to your needs. Next, this skips option to date helps to choose any custom date within the selected date range and skip visual display straight to that date. This is a helpful option when you will backtest with a long amount of days. See we have skipped to 23rd April. Now see indicator backtesting is skipped to that date. You can zoom in or zoom out a chart during backtesting. At the journal tab, you can view all journals, alerts, or errors. If you see your backtesting is not working well, then definitely view the journal to know about the real issues. Sometimes issues occur if MetaTrader has no data. Suppose you selected a custom date for backtesting, and the MetaTrader does not have any data for that date. Then obviously it will create an error. So you need to download the missing data from the MetaTrader History Center. From the Tool menu, you will find the History Center option. You can choose symbols here to download data. Note if you download data from the History Center, MetaTrader will have all historical data loaded which will help you in the future for backtesting, sometimes from the year 2000. You can download, add, edit data. Also, you can export and import data to the chart from the Historic Center. We will create a separate video on how to download data from the MetaTrader History Center. 
One important note, remember, you can backtest indicator on a single symbol one at a time. So if your indicator works with multiple forex pairs or symbols, then set your indicator signal for one symbol only. Here in this example, we have a multi-pair trend dashboard indicator. Before we starting the backtest, you will first edit the indicator input parameters and set it to the current chart symbol only, and that's it. It depends on the custom indicator if they such options. Here for the SFX multi-pair trend dashboard indicator, we have such options. Now see the multi-pair trend dashboard is working on for the tested symbol only. So that's it for today if you like our video and find it helpful, then please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter. Note we also provide daily forex rebate cashback for all traders from our partner broker. So do not miss the chance. All links are given in the video description. Thank you for your time.